This is a Steiger Panther 3. This is the start of like really good four wheel drives. It's got all the three R's. It's reliable, it's rebuildable, and it's really cool looking. Like, look at that sucker. She's quite the deal. So this unit here is running Ag Open GPS. I'm just gonna show you the wasp setup. So if we get down in here, this is the wasp sensor. So I just welded a little tab on this edge and I welded a stud over here. So that way, like, as it's turning, it follows and it tells the degrees of the turn. And then since it's like right on the center pivot, it, it basically tells exactly where it is. So that is how I figured out how to stick it in here. And oh yeah, people will be like, yeah, this would rub, but no, there's a, um, like a, a piece of tie wrap tied in here. So it can rub all day long and it's not gonna have too much of an issue. And that is what makes Ag Open GPS drive so bloody straight. And it doesn't do the, you know, like the, the wasp wiggle. You know, or it's more like the Trimble Wiggle, the whoop, 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 whoop. It just goes straight. I'm going to be doing some harrowing in a classic Steiger today and uh, showing off headland guidance and also uh, RTK. So I have my own RTK base. Uh, it's at my house. It's like 20k away or something. And uh, it is a MLID M2, and uh, MLID is nice enough that they have a free NTRIP server that you can uh, take advantage of. So the base corrections go to it, and then it'll come off my, the internet on my phone to the F9P on the back of the screen, and it will guide the tractor. So while the old Steiger here is warming up, I am just going to get the GPS going here. So we'll power on our Windows laptop. I got this used. It's like delivery companies and cops and stuff use it. It's meant to be in a vehicle. It comes with this sweet dock you can get for it. Uh, this was most of the cost of the Ag Open GPS system. Uh, on the back I have a F9P, Sparkfun an F9P um, GPS system. And uh, it, it talks directly to this. So we're gonna just click the Ag Open shortcut. Okay, so Ag.io is open. We haven't opened this in a while, so we're gonna have to just set it up. I'm still running um, uh, USB, so I have this nav box here in the corner, and uh, this is the part you build yourself, uh, and it's got the um, BNO085 IMU in there, uh, the Nano's in here, the ADS converter for the wheel angle sensors in here, I've made mine so that it's easily, you can take it out and move it to a different tractor. Right now, this is the only tractor on this farm we're using it on. Uh, this is kind of a neat tractor. The, um, I, I work for a father-son uh, farming outfit, and uh, the, the, the father, he, he's uh, almost 80 now. And uh, at any rate, he's a real cool guy. Uh, he was really into electronics. He's uh, programmed computers with like punch cards on Fortran. Like, really neat guy. And uh, at any rate, this is part of his uh, air seeder control system he made himself. Uh, they don't run the air seeder on this one anymore. They got a, a different tractor for the air seeder. And uh, it's even got a red light up here for depth control. It just, super neat guy, super inventive. And uh, now, now the Steiger's moved on to Ag Open GPS. So, since we're running the um, uh, USB, this tractor has a power switch, so I can flip that on. And then there's a kill switch, and I can flip that on. Now I should be getting power to the nav box. And now we'll just uh, hit the old find the comms button. Oh, now we got all the comms. So, COM 10 is the, oh yeah, not connected to caster. At any rate, COM10 is the GPS. We'll click that on. There we go. We're getting a GPGGA message. 
and then we have to hook up the steer box and I can't really remember but I will guess COM5 and I guess wrong so we will go COM4 and this is the reason why UDP is the thing because these COM ports get to be mega annoying. Okay, there we go. Now we got some action happening. So I'll click that. Okay, so now we got steer box comms. We have the um, uh, GPS, but now I gotta get RTK. Um, so I'm just gonna plug in the phone. I have the phone set up so that uh, when I plug it in, it's got iTunes on the uh, tablet. It picks it up as uh, internet and then I get internet to the tablet without having to mess around with Wi-Fi, even though I can connect it by Wi-Fi, but you know, might as well charge your phone at the same time. Okay, so this bar down here, it's saying uh, 0 0.26 degrees, 0 0.27 degrees, so I think this tractor's sitting level enough for zeroing the level. And fancy that, the plastic inside the Steiger is sitting level enough to level it so we are level i would say that uh, this matching the back hitch is a good indication we are level so when i turn on ag open gps i can level it with confidence so i'm going to hit zero roll there we go now this tractor is level so we did our uh, outside boundary so what we're going to want to do now is we click this button and we go to the boundary contour we click that and then it's going to ask you some questions so we want pass number two because we already did pass number one check that box and like if we were on our first pass you'd have like the uh, you know how many centimeters you want to stay away from it and that kind of you know prevents that but uh, i was driving by hand and i screwed up so we'll click that and now we've got the boundary contour. So we'll click contour guidance. And uh, there we go, it should pop up once I get over to the uh, boundary. Okay, we're still on headland guidance. Like it drives really nice. I think there's something goofed up because it kept on like jumping like 10 inches back and forth, back and forth. So. I closed out and restarted and everything is just tickety-boo now, but again, I can't stress enough, don't trust this thing in a corner. Uh, it just gets confused or it forgets to like make the next line. So just tap out, do your corner, and then get back on the line and, and off you go again. But you know, it's uh, not bad for the price, like it is doing a great job. Look at her, just following the line, just nice as can be. And then we got this good old hill again. Okay, let's see what this Steiger's got. So 
I was using it in the previous video. Uh, if you get it unlocked on John Deere, it'll probably cost you around, I don't know, like 5500 American. So I'm just going to hit auto U-turn. And then up there it wants to turn back this way, but I don't want that, so I'll turn it the other way. And it'll compute it. So now we just gotta wait. Doing a U-turn. And you can see there it counts, counts you down, so you know when you're doing it. And there's the U-turn right there, you can visualize it. If you go to U-turn settings, I have it set uh, just slightly larger than the um, implement that I'm towing. So we will see what it'll do, because half my implement uh, would be 30 feet, so I'm at 60, so it should leave about 30 feet from whatever I'm, whatever the boundary is. And it seems to do that quite well. Okay. So here we go. It's coming around. And then the inside one. Just nice as you please. back on the trail again. Isn't that nice? And another 2200 feet. We'll be doing it all over again. Let's see it compensate this. Nice little sharp hill. Oh, better give her a little throttle here. Nice dip on the other side. And our overlap looks like it's just about the same. So I would say that is uh, pretty successful. Like in excess of an hour and I have not touched the wheel. We've got all these nice little U-turns all lined up. We've got another one coming up in 230 some feet. And uh, it'll turn around here. Like really, this thing's been driving great. Uh, I went up some pretty substantial hills and side hill, and it's just been straight. Um, I was talking to Brian, and apparently you can walk to a, um, what is that, At, like a headland pass. So I gotta try that out on another day, but, but still, this is the biggest part of Part of driving the tractor is just going back and forth, and wow, like Agro GPS is absolutely killing it. So, like, look at my tire there, just ever so nice. And we straighten out, yeah, just straight back again, just back and forth. Look at all of those. So Ag Open GPS has been absolutely flawless on these uh, these hills. So some of them, like I guess they don't look that bad, but some of them are like 15, some of them are like 18 degree, and yeah, I've never been more than like maybe four inches out, and then Intergirl pulls it right back in. So I dropped my, um, my overlap down to a foot, I think I basically got it. I don't have to touch this thing anymore. It's just, you sit and you wait for slews. That's, that's basically how this thing works now. 